welcome to the December edition of the Daisy Chain and Christmas has appeared at Turak just in time for our end of year celebrations. And I'm joined today by Olivia and Jade who have both been supporting some great initiatives in the school at the moment. Liv, you just graduated from year six. What was your favourite part of the graduation ceremony? Probably the fact that even though it had to be online for all the parents, they could still contribute with the congratulation videos. It was certainly very emotional, wasn't it? To see <laughs> yeah. all that thanks and also to be able to include the parents in the day as well. Um, what do you think year six are most proud of after the year we've had? Um, probably the, the fact that we all got through online learning together and we all had fun with all the hiccups and bumps on the way. Uh, I think you've been a very close community this year yes. looking out for one another, haven't you? Um, and then this week it's Step Up. You're a year seven in a matter of minutes now, Liv. How do you feel about your high school journey? I'm excited, but I'm also nervous. Um, but I'm excited to try all the new things that are, like all the new opportunities for us. And what's the first thing you're signing up for, Liv? Probably snow sports. Straight into snow sports. And what a beautiful segue, because when we have Christmas, sometimes we think about having snow. Although that doesn't always happen in an Australian Christmas, does it, Jade? No. No. Now, we are here at the Turak Wishing Tree. Can you tell me, what is something very special you've been doing lately for our Wishing Tree? Well, I have been saving up a lot of money in my save account. I've used all the... I've used that money to buy lots of presents and food for, this, for the families in need. Fantastic, and we are partnering with Mum Supporting Families in Need to make sure that everybody has a Merry Christmas. Jade, why did you decide to do that with your money? Well, I thought it would be a nice thing to do because it just makes me feel sad that lots of, that families out there don't get barely get any presents at Christmas. And you're gonna do something about that, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Now, what day are you visiting our wishing tree? on Friday. So if anybody else wanted to come and do something to support other people, could they come to the Wishing Tree event too? Of course they could. Fantastic. So this Thursday and Friday night from 6 to 8, come to Turak, donate your presents here at our Wishing Tree and we've got lots and lots of surprises if you come and do that. Jade, what kind of things do you think we might have in store for you on Thursday and Friday night here? Well, we might get to meet Santa. We might get to meet Santa. I'm going to see if we can do that. Jade, it's also your step up week as well. How does it feel to be a big year three? Well, it feels very surprising. <laughs> and have you been very welcoming to those new students in your class today? Yes, I have, because I already know two of them, Gabby and Clementine. Fantastic. And I'm getting to know all the other ones, all the other new students very well. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. We are a matter of days away from finishing up here at Turak for our academic year for 2020, but there is still so much more fun to be had with our junior school prize giving next week, our senior school carols, and then of course our amazing summer camps program that will be happening right across December and January. Jade, what do you want for Christmas? I just want the less fortunate families just to have enough to, for them to survive. I think that's lovely. I think Liv and I would get right behind that initiative as well, wouldn't we, Liv? Uh, we wish all of you a very Merry Christmas. Has there ever been a better Christmas to appreciate time to come together and celebrate? And we thank you so much for an extraordinary 2020 year. And we look forward to seeing you in 2021.